Outlaw Law is brought to you by Whitaker and Hamer Attorneys and Counselors at Law, your law firm for life. The Outlaw Lawyers, Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer, Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm Managing Partners, practicing attorneys here in North Carolina. Offices located in Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuquay, Verena, Gastonia, and Moorhead City. Cassandra Nicholas, normally on the program on assignment this week, and she is out of the Moorhead City office. If you've got a legal situation, you need some answers to your questions, you can always call the firm 800 659 1186. That's 800 659 1186. Leave your contact information. Briefly, what the call is about, an attorney with Whitaker and Hammer will be in touch. And as we are doing today, we are taking listener questions. So email questions, uh, you can send those to the show, questions at theoutlawlawyer.com. We'll answer them on a future broadcast. Guys, where are we going next? You know, Josh, I was uh, I was thinking of taking my kids to see that new Guardians of the Galaxy movie, man. And uh, you know, <laughs> I heard good things. Um, you know, it, it occurs to me we did not, this last segment, we didn't tackle our listener question. Yes, we, we didn't did get not. there. And I don't feel like we're getting to it this one either, if I'm going to be honest with you, brother, because it's getting hotter and hotter in here mm. about a second. It's not that hot in here. It's not that cold. The, uh, you know, we get, a lot of, we get a lot of listener questions about HOAs. We do. Homeowners associations. We do. Uh, we get a lot of listener questions about those, and we have a lot of consults about those. Um, uh, and, uh, and as always, they're a lot of fun. You know, I, I don't think so, man. I, I think that HOAs just in general, there's a, there's a special type of person. And I'm not knocking that person. If you're that person and you're listening, we, we love you just like we love all of our listeners equally. But there's like a special type of person that really digs an HOA, man, and order and like that, that whatever that vibe is you get from like being a very active member of an HOA. Um, and then there's a whole other set of the population that doesn't. And that, that really hates the idea and doesn't want to be involved in it. And I think that's what you, you can, two categories of people, man. Yeah. So, you know, as a law firm, we represent a lot of, a lot of homeowners associations. Uh, the firm uh, will represent an HOA. We also have represented uh, a lot of folks against their HOA, right? So HOAs are, are just as good or bad as the people who, who run them, right? So your HOA might have a property management company who helps out, helps run the board, collects payments and, and does all that kind of stuff. But the property management company is is just there to, to help. And so you still have your presidents and your vice presidents. And, and man, when you have a lot of people who have to work together for anything. For anything. Here at the firm, uh, you know, anywhere in real life, when you have that many people who have to work together and their home is is you know a lot of for a lot of folks their home is their major asset that's right their sacred place too. yeah and that's where they yeah and 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 so you run into a lot of really there's never a small problem right it's always a passion I remember I don't live in an HOA now but when I did you know I, I couldn't get to like trimming my bushes fast enough or whatever oh, yeah. and I get that letter and I used to get so angry even though I needed to trim my bushes yeah you knew they were right <laughs> yeah the end of the day. but I was like look man. I was out of town last weekend. It rained. Yeah. I was like, cut me, cut me some slack. But that's what they do, right? They have to make sure they have to treat everybody the same. Um, but we get a lot of those kind of things. You got owned by your HOA, man. That's what I took from that story. <laughs> I, I got the letter and I trimmed my bushes and I was mad about it. I wonder it. if you were madder than the neighbor that reported you for not trimming your bushes. I, I hope. I Whitaker's don't... gone again. <laughs> <laughs> he left. He left in the bushes. <laughs> Duh. But you'll see that, you know, you'll see the property management car kind of going through and, and doing their inspections and making sure everybody's like, uh, you know, uh, living up to the the great right, the covenants, right? Mm. The bylaws, what everybody's required to do. You can't paint your house pink. Right. You know, you a lot of people are sad to find out that you if you don't pay your HOA, that they can foreclose on you. Yeah. Put and, a lien on your property. Yeah. They can literally foreclose on the lien. So you we. You get folks like there's some people that are like HOAs aren't real, man. There's literally people that are like it's not real. Like, what are you gonna do? It's just letters. They can't do anything. I I've always been surprised, you know, you know when you we again we do a lot of real estate closings and we deal with HOAs all the time and that's something we talk about at closing. You usually have to pay, you know, some transfer fees and so there's some HOA dues and things like that and. uh these people, like I'll run into these people when we're representing HOAs who haven't paid HOA dues in like 10 years and just don't even open up an email from the HOA. And like you said, just pretend like, it's fake. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, the HOA will foreclose on you. I it's mean, that's, not fake. It's very real. There is statutory authority that allows those, they, them to one, 
they can find you and they can just rack fines up on you. And then they're going to put that that amount as a lien against your property. And then, like we said, they can foreclose on you. We've literally seen HOA foreclosures and over ridiculously small amounts, man. Yeah, you know, the HOAs, they they have a lot of power and they don't have a lot of power because that's what they can do, right? They can fine you. They can put a lien on your house, which really complicates things if you're going to sell or you're going to refinance. But then past that, all they can really do is foreclose on you. That's yeah. like the next, that's like their nuclear weapon. If you're just not going to do what they're they're asking you to do. And, you know, I'm assuming the HOA is in the right. We've run into times where the HOA is being run improperly. Oh, those are the ones, man. When you yeah. get the ones where you got like the, the, the crazy folks just running them and they're just out there for blood, man. And that's all they got to do, right? Like there's a lot of times in those scenarios, they literally, it's like your, your Bush's neighbor. <laughs> right. It's like that guy to the 10th degree. Well, what about trash can police? Like if you leave your trash cans rolled out longer than, I don't know, 24 hours, you'll get a letter. Yeah. You'll get a letter yeah. in your mailbox. Remove your trash cans. I mean, it, it's it's a thing. It, HOAs are I mean, it's it, it can be brutal. I, I know people that uh, run to get on the HOA board so they can kind of control things a little bit better. Yeah. 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 I like those are the real heroes, man. <laughs> the, the ones that the ones that are willing to to. To take one on the chin from the crazies, man, and offer that balanced perspective. What was the? There was a. There was an old commercial. It was. It was an old beer commercial. Is the the real men of genius? Yeah. Yeah. Real men. Of genius. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, to, Joe. Pretty good. That was. Uh, that, that's good. That, you know. Thank you. Now, I, this is back in the day when you used to burn CDs. Back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> you did that? Are you? Yeah. Old? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Look, man. I, there were tapes when I was around. I, I started with tapes. Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. How young do you think I am? I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyways, there were tapes. And then I did have CDs and I bought CDs. We burnt. Uh, we and then bur- we burnt. The burning was the. Yes. We burnt. I thought that was the peak, too, at the time. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. Nothing would beat it. Well, we downloaded probably illegally, right? I don't know if that was legal, but we downloaded like all those. Like every, oh, every real minute. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. You're attorneys. You know if it's legal. We or weren't. Not. Yeah. I would always pay. Yeah, the exactly. Yes. Good answer. I Good would answer. always pay. Good answer. I downloaded all the commercials. The other there was like Real Men of Genius and Real Men. Oh, of, you can probably do that. Yeah, I downloaded them all and burned them to like one CD. <laughs> and we used to listen to it before we went and played like uh, flag football or something. We'd listen to like all to of them. To get pumped up? Sometimes. Or just to giggle. To giggle. Like, to giggle. It's it's to giggle. Yeah. yeah. These, are, these are real men getting together and listening to. Well, I mean, we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we weren't man. We didn't have YouTube, man. Like now you can go watch like a comedian on YouTube, but it used to be you had to just get like a Jerky Boys CD and listen to it. You ever listen to the Jerky Boys, man? I never did. Yeah. Mm-mm. I knew they were a thing. You ever prank call people? Mm-mm. No, I never really did. You don't seem like the type that uh-huh. would. Joe, no. you do, by the way. No, no, man. You I wouldn't be never. a prank caller? I'd, uh, no, I'd listen to somebody do it mm. probably and laugh, but the, uh, yeah, well, you know, there was, people forget there was a time where you, like you, you had to watch stuff when it came on TV, yeah. right? Yeah. Because if you missed it, no, you could, you could V like, yeah, you my could dad see. would VHS record stuff. So I've still got tons of <laughs> tapes, man, tons of them. And what a nightmare it is to try to find anything. You got to rewind and you got to literally, it's like it's super slow. What a nightmare. man. There's YouTube channels and that's all it is, is where they have digitized their old, like with commercials and everything. Yeah. And but you, you just got, pretend like, got to do that. Yeah, but you just pretend like you're watching TV in like 1986. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, commercials are all the same. The timing's all the same. It's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah. Well, we went from HOA to Real Men of Genius. I like it. The Outlaw Lawyers, Josh Whitaker, Real Men of Genius, and Joe Hamer. Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm Managing Partners, Practicing Attorneys here in North Carolina. Offices conveniently located Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuqua, Verena, Gastonia, and Moorhead City. If you've got a legal situation you are facing, you need answers to questions, you can always call the firm, 800-659-1186. That's 800-659-1186. Leave your contact information, briefly what the call's about, and an attorney with Whitaker and Hamer will be in touch. You can always email your questions to the show, questions at theoutlawlawyer.com. 